Hi there, my name is Chris from TurboSmart and we're hoping to help out with some of the more common and frequently asked questions we receive. One of the more common questions we get here at TurboSmart is how do I choose the right fuel pressure regulator? It's a great question and we will get to it. I just want to first run over the basics of what the regulator does and why you would upgrade your fuel pressure regulator in the first place. The TurboSmart range of fuel pressure regulators are designed for EFI systems using what we call port injection. That is, the fuel is injected into the port of the head into the airflow stream under either vacuum, in the case of a natural aspirated engine, or positive pressure or boost, in the case of a supercharged or turbocharged setup. A common fuel pressure target for port injection fueling systems is around 42 psi, or three bar above port reference. What does this mean? Well, port reference is the pressure or vacuum, the inlet manifold that your injectors are injecting fuel into. So, as boost pressure from your turbo or supercharger increases, as does the fuel pressure target. So at zero reference pressure, you'll be targeting 42 psi fuel pressure. But at 10 psi of boost, you are now targeting 52 psi fuel pressure. This pressure differential is the operating parameters of your injectors in order to maintain a good spray pattern, amongst other things, and is also an assumption of your car's computer. So any deviation from this can be a problem. Now, if we look at the basic fuel system layout, you have a fuel pump feeding the injectors and the regulator regulating fuel pressure. In order to regulate the pressure, you must be able to bypass some, and in many cases, most of the fuel back to your fuel tank. Simply put, if you blocked or restricted the return line, a couple of things would happen. The fuel pressure would increase. That increased fuel pressure would mean more fuel is being injected into the engine by the injectors. More fuel being injected into the engine than is intended is not great and in severe situations can cause damage. Now remember, this scenario has happened within a couple of engine revolutions. We are not talking slow and steady issues here, we're talking rapid, unintended changes to your engine's fueling. Now understanding what would happen if you decided to simply plug the return line or restrict flow back to the tank and you can start to understand what happens if your fuel pressure regulator isn't capable of flowing enough fuel. Its job is literally to provide enough flow back to the tank while perfectly regulating the fuel pressure across the injector rail. From the factory, vehicles will be fitted with a fuel pressure regulator perfectly capable of flowing enough fuel back to the tank and maintaining the pressures you need. It is when you start to tune and modify your engine that the factory regulators start to show its limitations. When should you consider an upgraded regulator? Bigger fuel pumps. Bigger, more powerful fuel pumps naturally want to flow more fuel. The factory regulator return size is unlikely going to flow enough for an upgraded pump. We need to remember there is a difference between flow and pressure. Think about a garden hose. The size of the hose does not magically increase when you turn the tap on further. Instead, the pressure at the end of it increases. Modifying your engine and tune. The accuracy and responsiveness of your fuel pressure regulator is important and this is the other consideration. A factory fitted regulator will be sufficient, but is it perfect? A modified, upgraded or tuned engine has a high demand and the requirements of an accurate fuel system increase dramatically. The higher the specification, the more a slight imperfection becomes a big issue. At 100 horsepower, a 3 to 5% tolerance might be easily managed by headroom on your tune, but at 1000 horsepower, 3 to 5% is a hazard to your expensive engine. Confidence in reducing these margins can mean either more performance or more headroom, and both have their benefits. TurboSmart fuel pressure regulators are literally designed to flow as much fuel as possible while providing class leading control. While a fuel system component might seem a bit of a departure from wastegates and blow-off valves, it's not. At TurboSmart, we are all about flow and control. Our range of fuel pressure regulators are no different. Now, how do you choose the right one? We have three basic designs, all built on the same architecture and will work with all known fuels included leaded, harsh race fuels as well as ethanol and methanol. It is unlikely you're going to be running anything we haven't already engineered our eggs for. The three designs are our FPR 800, FPR 1200 and FPR 2000. The numbers are where the selection comes in, 800, 1200 and 2000. These numbers dictate the capacity of the fuel pump and they're able to comfortably bypass. And that includes fuels like methanol where the fuel volume is larger per horsepower. FPR 800, 800 horsepower worth of fuel system. FPR 1200, 1200 horsepower worth of fuel system. And FPR 2000, 2000 horsepower worth of fuel system. 
We call out the fuel system here as we are not talking crank or wheel horsepower. We are talking fuel system capacity. Many setups, and correctly so, spec their fuel systems larger than their horsepower targets. This is a sound strategy as it provides headroom for comfort and confidence, but also for other performance upgrades down the track. So, you really need to be looking at the horsepower potential of your fuel pump. It's really common to upgrade to a larger in-tank pump on a mildly tuned car or even twin or triple pumps for something a little wilder. You need to look at your fuel pump output and choose a regulator that gives you the bypass requirements you need to keep your fueling in check. Keep in mind, you might have 700, 1700 or 7000 horsepower, but at idle, you really only need a tiny fraction of that and the extra fuel needs to go somewhere else. Something to consider when choosing your regulator is your fuel lines. Often, we find the regulator has been researched well after the decisions for the lines have already been made. Now, our regulators are straightforward in this regard. FVR 800 are designed around a 1.8 NPT inlet and outlet fittings. There are 6mm and 8mm hose and barbs, both of which perfectly without impacting flow. The FPR 1200 is designed around dash 6 fittings and adapters, while the FPR 2000 is designed around dash 8 fittings and adapters. I hope this has cleared up some of the questions about the TurboSmart fuel pressure regulator range and helps you choose your next regulator with some more confidence. For any more information on our entire range, including our fuel pressure regulators, check out www.turbosmart.com and remember, keep on building.